We've tried to record this a good three, four, maybe five times now. I've kind of lost count. Um, we've got a nice script laid out of things we want to talk about, uh, but we're, we're having a hard time doing it all to script and getting perfect lines. So we're just going to do this naturally and just have a conversation. So my name's Sam. I am the director of EMEA Services here at NetSpy. Um, I'm here today with Tyler Sullivan, one of our excellent senior security consultants. Um, and we're going to have a bit of a conversation around Tyler's uh, path into cybersecurity and into NetSpy, as well as the qualifications that he holds as well. So Tyler, why don't you start off with a bit of an intro about yourself? Yeah, so um, I got into cybersecurity uh, while I was at university doing computer science. Uh, had a few mo modules on it and found it to be really interesting, had a real passion for it. So I did my dissertation on cybersecurity uh, and after university I was lucky enough to land a graduate job as a consultant. Uh, and this is when I sort of my journey really began. So I did a lot of web application testing, did a lot of infrastructure testing, but particularly enjoyed web testing. Found it just be really interesting, and uh, I, I enjoyed it. I was good at it, um, and so that led me down the route of getting some qualifications in web security. And I went for and have achieved the Crest Certified Tester Application Certification. Although, uh, as testers, we normally just call it the CCT app. Yeah, this industry is full of acronyms, right? And qualifications are no exception. Oh, yeah. But uh, it'd, be, it'd be interesting to know a little bit more about what made you choose Crest for qualifications. So in the UK in particular, I know Crest are a very well respected and very well known organisation. Uh, they credit a lot of companies and a lot of people such as myself. Um, and it's uh, just a really logical path for uh, testers to go down. So uh, you start off with the CPSA, so that's the Crest, so that's the Crest Practitioner Security Analyst. And then you have the Crest Registered Test Start and then you have the CCT app, which is one I have. So when you're a consultant just starting out, it's it's really useful to have that first goal of getting the CPSA. And then when you start learning a little bit more about uh, about about uh, about cybersecurity, then you can do the CRT. And then when you get to the CRT, then you can either choose the web specialism or the imp specialism. And as obviously as a web tester, I went down the website. Um, so that that was a real big sort of draw. Uh, that really drawed me towards those exams uh, initially because yeah, it just made sense logically and had that progression. Um, but also it's just, it is just a well-respected and uh, a hard exam. And hard exams, if, if they're difficult to get, then they're gonna come with uh, a lot of a lot of respect and uh, a real showcase for, for any of my web skills. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, it's not an easy thing to achieve. And as you say, there's, there's a path to get there, isn't it? You have to start way further back. You've got two exams before you can even look really at, at a, a CRESS certified level exam. How, how did you find that journey? Was it was it easy to just go and pick up CPSA or was it was it hard right from the start? Yeah, looking back on it, it's it's kind of crazy because you're when you are looking towards that CPSA, it's kind of seen you know, it's a bit daunting. It's your first qualification in the industry. Um, and now, obviously, looking back on it, the stuff in there is, is is a lot of your fundamentals for a lot of stuff that you learn. But at the time, it's just, you know, when you're getting started in industry, it's it can be a little bit challenging. Um, but I think they're sort of very well laid out in sort of the distance between each of the exams. So the CPSA is a really good, tell, tells you you've got fundamentals. Uh, the CRT is, um, is more has a little bit of everything, does a lot more, has a bit of web, bit of infrastructure. And yeah, at that time, it should be sort of a a good mid a good mid level tester, and then yeah, when you get to the specialisms, that's when you're putting your head down. It was I found the exam really tough, um, but but really rewarding. Um, it was it was two or two parts, and then the final final part's broken into two additional parts. So you have this multiple choice, which is kind of like the CPSA, but much harder and a lot more information. And then you come to the the practical exam where you have uh, an assault course and a scenario. Uh, which lasts about a day and by the end of it yeah your your brain is your brain is fried because it's just a really tough exam but yeah i passed in february last year uh and yeah it's probably one of my best achievements in the industry so far uh, that is awesome yeah and another congratulations for for the pass it is not an easy thing to do um, and clearly as you say that because it's so difficult you get a real sense of satisfaction as well and on top of that i reckon it changes the way that, that people look at you even outside the uh the kind of immediate team as well would you say that it's changed the way you can have conversations with some of our customers and the way that they look at you as well yeah absolutely because um in the uk especially crest is crest is well known a lot of companies and clients do look for crest 
Uh, I would just say it's you know it's not the be all and end all. It's something that is really useful to have. But be, yeah, but but by having it, I can you know speak to a client and I could be introduced as you know Crest certified tester. And if they look that up, they can see that it's probably one of the it's one of the best web exams in the UK, especially, um, and it, one of the best in the world. If um, if you, yeah, if you're looking globally, but yeah, it does make it easier. Uh, people know you know you you clearly know your stuff if you've got this qualification. There's no there's no ifs or buts. You need you can't pass that just on theory knowledge. You have to have some practical real world uh, cybersecurity experience and, and pen testing in particular. Yeah, that's a really good point. And I suppose on that basis, when you combine the theoretical knowledge and the practical, would you say it actually helps you in your day to day job as a penetration tester as well? Some of the skills you built for the exam, do you find you using them in the real world as well? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's it's an exam that sort of teaches you how to deal with problems and how to deal with unexpected inputs and unexpected scenarios. And, and that's basically what penetration testing is. It's seeing something you haven't seen before and knowing how to apply certain theories that you've learned in different ways. And it's not always the same formula. It's very different each time. So as you can imagine, it was really useful for my for my uh, for my for my job, basically. Um, also has a, an element of reporting in there, which is obviously very important. At the end of the day, the report is the what the clients see. And if you can't communicate the results properly, then the client's not going to be able to fix those results. So the the uh, CCT app does have that that reporting element in it as well. I would add that it's a lot of my learning happens outside of the qualifications as well. So being in the team that we are at, at NetSpy, uh, there's a lot of talented people, not just talented in, in web security, but we have really good cloud people, good hardware hackers. I don't, I don't think I've ever been in an environment where there's just so many specialists. Uh, and it's really good because uh, everything that you learn from even people that are doing you know, hardware hacking, something so different to web hacking, there are things that you can learn that you can apply to your web your web security. So being in the NetSpy team is a constant learning experience. I don't think in cybersecurity and penetration testing, some such a massive field, I don't think it's impossible to ever stop learning. Um, but since since getting this qualification, I feel like I'm able to have I it, I have the base like advanced knowledge. I know I know uh, very structured maybe not structured, but I have, I'm not, I'm not clean on my stuff. And now I can just go and venture out into these very niche parts of cybersecurity. Um, and yes, I, I've still continued learning since I've got the qualification last year. And I don't see that stopping anytime soon. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a really good point. Qualifications aren't everything, whatever the qualification, they'll all, always cover a little bit of what you need to know. Uh, but it's one of the things that we do in our team, as you know, we like to combine all that real world practical knowledge, talking to the team, learning hands on, all of that stuff. But qualifications give you that that, that bit of structure um, and a sense of achievement as well. And something that we can show and demonstrate, yeah, we do know our stuff whenever anyone just needs a quick point of reference. So you mentioned that you haven't stopped learning. Have you decided on what comes next for you? I think at the moment I'm really enjoying just being able to have the freedom to you know go investigate something or potentially go develop something. So uh, I think as a cybersecurity professional, you do have to have be uh, just you know be able to do a little bit of everything. So I've done a lot of development work recently. Uh, I've been really enjoying writing some some plugins and things that help me as a, to become a better tester and to become a more efficient tester. And for the time being, I think this is definitely just the what I'm going to keep doing. Uh, another two years and I'll have to renew my Crest certification. So potentially in 18 months time, it'll be a case of getting the uh, notebooks back out and getting back, get my head down and studying. But for the time being, I'm very happy with, with qualifications I have and just continue learning. That's great. You can see how you're, you've started off with some knowledge, got a qualification and then just continue building on that. It'll be interesting to see when you come back to renew that qualification, what the experience will be like second time round and with all that extra knowledge that you've got stacked up as well. Cool. All right. Well, thank you for your insight, Tyler. It's been really good talking to you today. Have a good day ahead. Cheers, you too.